in an organization, all of us have this second job that we're kind of doing all the time, where it's we're managing how we come across, we're trying to hide our weaknesses, we're trying to influence what other people think about us. And one of the provocative questions you ask in the book is, what would it be like if we didn't have to do that all the time? This is so much a part of organizational life that I actually have trouble imagining what that would look like. So <laughs> tell me a little bit about that second job and then help me picture what it would look like to not have to do that. Yeah, so it's hard for people to even get their heads around how much energy they're spending looking good. It's good to just think first, what are the costs of this? We're developmental psychologists, right? We believe in the possibility of continuing growth and development in adulthood. If I'm spending part of my energy hiding my weaknesses and my inadequacies, it's much less likely that I'm going to overcome them. So work immediately becomes not a place where I'm likely to keep growing and developing. From the employer's side, the employer's paying a full-time salary, so to speak, for a part-time job, having to continue to in a sense, pay for my limitations. So when you step back from it and look at it, you say, this is kind of a ridiculous kind of bargain that benefits no one. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the problem. Ridiculous, but ubiquitous. Mm -hmm. Yes. (laughs) So what would it look like to do otherwise? Here we start with this idea that actually we are covering up actual weaknesses that we have. Well, imagine that you see your weaknesses as an opportunity an opportunity to actually grow, an opportunity for you to learn how to do something differently, but to the extent that we're covering it up, we ourselves aren't even really connected to what is it that we're really up against here. And if you could see, I actually have permission here, not only permission, but I'm required in my work here to look carefully at how am I getting in my own way so that I become more mindful of it and become more able to actually work around it. 